All right, guys, we're back for part two of the energy improvement credits that are now expanded under the Inflation Reduction Act. So today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Residential Energy Efficient Property Credit, which under the Inflation Reduction Act became the Residential Clean Energy. So now we'll go over some of the changes that actually took effect retroactively for 2022. This credit has been for the cost of installing qualifying systems that use solar, wind, geothermal, biomass, or fuel cell power to produce electricity, heat water, or regulate the temperature in your home. There are some things that are no longer covered starting in 2023, so it won't apply to any biomass furnaces or water heaters, but now they're going to add battery storage technology. Now let's talk about the important part, which is what are the actual limits of this credit? So before the Inflation Reduction Act, we had for 2022, it was 26% of the cost of qualifying improvements. For 2023, it was gonna go down to 23%, and then it was going to expire in 2024. Now, with the Inflation Reduction Act, we've changed it so that for 2022 through 2032, we have a 30% credit. And then in 2033, it'll be reduced to 26%, and then in 2034, it'll be reduced to 22%, and then it'll expire after that. So essentially, we've extended the 30% limit for another 10 years. So really the Inflation Reduction Act expanded the credit for another 10 years so that we kept this 30% limit that we had previously had before it started phasing down. This is for the cost of things like solar, but this is only for your personal residence, remember, okay? So you cannot take this on rental properties or other business property that you're using or renting. Now, there are other credits that you can take for businesses for solar and energy improvements. So we'll cover those in another video and you will see some similar limits, but you get additional benefits as a business. So for example, some you get depreciation on top of taking the credit. So it'd be important if you have business property that you'd like to make some of these solar improvements on. Stay tuned.